some already big enough, so no more sense of humor. <laughs> so we go now to our serious time. <laughs> <clears throat> let us let us open our Bible in the book of John. John chapter 21, verse 15 to 17. Uh, this is the secret of uh, the message. Uh, last Friday, uh, last two Fridays, and one Sunday. Uh, <clears throat> We are, no, we are dealing about the question of the Lord Jesus Christ that he asked to Peter three times. So we will read the verse first and then we will I will give you I will give you the explanation. Not self-explanatory. Verse 15 in the book of John, chapter 21, verse 15, we will read together begin. So when we are alive, Jesus said, Simon of the Earth, Simon, son of the Earth, thou hast thou me for the least. He said unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love him. He said unto me, Give me my love. He said to him again the second time, Simon, son of the Earth, Thou is thou me. He said unto me, Yea, the Lord, thou knowest that thou love me. He said unto me, Feed my sheep. He said unto me, The third time, Simon, son of Jesus, thou is thou me. Feed our spirit, because he said unto me, The third time, thou is thou me. And he said unto me, The Lord, thou knowest all things, thou knowest that thou love me. Jesus said unto me, before we begin our uh, explanation, my explanation, let us pray first to us, God's members. Lord God, our Heavenly Father, we thank thee again that we gather here and you give us the opportunity to study thy word again. The love that you ask to be done. You are asking us personally tonight, what is our love to you? Now, Lord, teach us and guide us through your Holy Spirit, Lord. And, uh, you now, now, you will be guided to our Lord, and to our Lord, and to our Lord, and to our Lord, and to our As usual, I will be speaking in uh, Douglas. Supposed to be, I will speak uh, complete English, but my kababayan, maybe they will not understand. <laughs> so, bear with me, African brothers. <laughs> the question that the Lord Jesus Christ asked Apostle Peter was, Love is thou me? He asked this for three times. And tonight, the same question is addressed to each every one of us here. Not only here, but other Christians also. Loving Him uh, with all our heart, as we see in Mark chapter 12, verse 13. Uh, shall we open that one? Mark chapter 12, verse 13. Mark chapter 12, verse 13. It says, And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind, and with all thy strength. This is the first commandment. <clears throat> the question which the Lord asked of Apostle Peter is addressed also to this everyone who has to mind. And loving him, if we answer, the answer is, uh, <clears throat> uh, if we study more in uh, Mark chapter 12, verse 30, 
This is the, the answer that God yearns to hear tonight. That every one of us to answer that question, that is thou me, we will answer that question through his word in Mark chapter 12, verse 30, which says, Loving him with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our mind, and strength is the answer. He yearns for longing to us to hear from all of us. And this kind of love is such kind of love will create in us a desire or motivation. A desire or motivation in our life to do the family. Number one, if we really love God with all our mind, with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our mind and strength, we have the desire to be dedicated and faithful to our Lord God. If this is our answer, then we have to check ourselves that is there a desire in our life to be dedicated and faithful to our God? We should have the dedication and faithfulness to the work that entrusted to us by our Lord. Work based on the work of God, meaning we will pinpoint, uh, especially to the soul winning. Soul winning or mission or uh, to the work of God. We have the, we should have the dedication and faithfulness. If you see in Acts chapter, Acts chapter 20, verse 18 to 24. Acts chapter 18, uh, chapter 20, so verse, chapter 20, verse 18 to 24, we see the, <coughs> this is the, uh, life of Apostle Paul. It says in verse 18, And when they will come to him, he said unto him, You know from the first day, I will read this one, because uh, we are talking about dedication and faithfulness. In verse 18, uh, chapter 20, Acts chapter 20, verse 18 to 24, in 18 it says, when, when they will come to him, he said unto him, unto them, You know from the first day, uh, Apostle Paul is uh, talking to me. And when they were come to him, he said unto them, You know, from the first day that I came into Asia, after what manner I have been with you at all seasons, serving the Lord with all humility of mind and with many tears and temptations which befell me by the lying in wait for of the Jews. And how I keep back nothing that was profitable unto you. But have showed you and have told you publicly and from house to house, testifying both to the Jews and also to the Greeks, repentance toward God and faith toward our Lord Jesus Christ. And now, behold, I go out in the Spirit unto Jerusalem, not knowing the things that shall befall me there, save the Holy Ghost witness in every witnesses, witnesses in every city, save that once in afflictions abide me. This one, verse 24. But none of these things move me. Apostle Paul is talking to me, speaking to me. <coughs> but none of these things, the above that is mentioned, yeah, his affliction, everything that he suffered, move me. Neither count I my life there unto myself, so that I might finish my course with joy in the ministry which I have received of the Lord Jesus to testify the gospel of the grace of God. What I'm trying to bring from the point here is we have to be faithful. We have to be dedicated in the work of the Lord, whatever the circumstances is. Our illustration here is the apostles, the, the, the life of the apostles. 
what the truth, paano yung, uh, ano yung ikinamatay ni Peter? They died as a martyr, correct? Uh, most of them died as a martyr. Ako Sir Peter, how did they die? They crucified, what? Upside down. How about uh, James? If you read in the Acts, how uh, James came? Huh? By the sword. I don't know whether the uh, uh, remove his head to the pulong or what. And some uh, others, uh, uh, they put uh, root in one uh, of his legs and then tied in the tree. And the other one is, the other leg is tied with another root with the horse. And then with the horse, he whip the horse. So what will happen? You will think, huh? it will rip the body. So that is the other one I have heard from the pastor teaching. I don't know if it's not So many, so many, even that hard, hardship of life or uh, maybe happens not good in their life, they persisted to be dedicated and what? Faithful. Lord. Just to what? To evangelize the, the world. Because uh, they have the what? They have the uh, command by, the, by our Lord Jesus Christ to what? The Great Commission in Matthew chapter uh, 28, 18 to 20. Okay? The life of the apostles be died as a martyr. But in our present day time, mga Kristiyano na yung mundo, ano, ano yung ikinakamatay? Siguro pagdating natin sa langit, Peter, ano ang nangyari sa'yo? Namatay ako dahil uh, namatay sa pagpapos sa kung sa kasay daw. Baka pag tinanong si Brother Donald, pag tumatay, pag tinala. <laughs> Sasabihin niya, namatay sa polisterol. <laughs> Ang matindi pa, namatay sa sarap ng tulog. <laughs> ano yun? Namatay sa, sa sarap ng tulog. Namatay sa kagumo. Sa ano? <laughs> Pero pag uh, titignan natin yung buhay ko, kahit naman sa Acts, pag titignan natin, si Stephen siya pinato, di ba? But they have, they continued the dedication in the faithfulness with the Lord. So, our application is, we should do the same. We should do the same. We should never abandon or to be remain. But, but we should never be abandoned or to be remain faithful to the work that God entrusted to us. In Revelation chapter 2 verse 10, what is it says there? Revelation chapter 2 verse 10. Revelation chapter 2 verse 10 says, Fear not of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried. Ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto them, and I will give thee a crown of life. The first one that God is yearning to us, to love us, with all our heart, with all, with all our soul, with all our mind, all our strength is that the love that created in us a desire to be dedicated and grateful to our Lord God. Number two is the desire to obey and sincerely serve our Lord God. The desire to obey and sincerely serve our Lord God. In John chapter 14, verse 15 says, what is mentioned there? John chapter 14, verse 15. 
If you love me, give my commandments. In March, uh, we will study this one, uh, the, the man in the gathering. Uh, we will see the, uh, the scenario here. In Mark chapter 5, verse 18 to 20. Mark chapter 5, verse 18 to 20. Mark chapter 5, verse we, we are talking about the desire to obey and sincerely serve our Lord. In verse, uh, Mark chapter 5, verse 18 to 20. And when he was come into the ship, he had he that had been possessed with the devil prayed him that he might be with him. Uh, ito po yung, yung uh, devil possessed dito sa gatan dito yung story niya nung sa verse 18 nasave na po siya uh, na alis na yung na na cast out na yung demon sa kanyang buhay uh, nasave na po siya ito uh, he is already saved here and when he was uh, already go and when he was come into the ship uh, ito yung si Jesus Christ ito he that been, had possessed with the devil, prayed him that he might be with him. Uh, the devil possessed, which are already saved, uh, uh, asked Jesus to come with him. He prayed to Jesus, to Jesus Christ. He asked to come with him. But uh, in verse 19, what is the answer of our Lord Jesus Christ? How did Jesus suffer him not? But say it unto him, this is the command. How did Jesus suffer him? But he said unto him, He command, he has the command. This is the command. Go home to thy friends and tell them how great things the Lord hath done for thee. In heart hath a compassion for thee. In heart hath compassion for thee. He didn't uh, when the uh, the when the same demonic uh, uh, possess which already say ask for uh, ask Jesus to go with him to come with him but he didn't what he didn't agree or he gave another command the command is that he should go home or return to his home and then what is his uh, uh, command to him? And tell how great things the Lord had done for thee in had compassion on thee. In verse 20, what is his, uh, what is the uh, same, uh, same gathering man here? Yung nalitas na. Ano yung ginawa niya? Ha? He obeyed the, the command of the Lord Jesus Christ. And he departed. Who, who departed? The one whom Jesus speak, spoke. He departed and began to what? To publish to publish in the companies how great things Jesus had done for him in all men the martyr. So many, we are talking about to obey, it's the desire to obey and sincerely serve our God. So many, so many, uh, the first step it should be obey first, then serve. Not serve and then uh, there is some uh, commandments that we should not obey. So many, uh, we should obey first the commandment of the Lord. That is our testimony. And then, it's time to serve the Lord. Because if you serve the Lord and obey His commandments, what, what will happen? Some people who is not saved, is saying to you, nakita nila sa iyong buhay, then it is easy to what? To share to share the gospel to them 
we should take one minute for the progress. So, yeah. <clears throat> I try to explain the, the desire to obey the sincerity to serve God, our Lord God, to serve sincerely serve our Lord God. We should obey God's command first, then serve our God with His will and instruction to us. And number three, if your answer is that we love our God with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our mind, and with all our strength, then we have to check if we have the desire to walk closely and be intimate with our Lord God. Uh, this is a little bit self-explanatory. We have to go back to the basics. Pag sinabi, we have to go back to the basics. Ano? We have to, what? we have the personal devotion in our life. It is good to come in the church. Yes, that is good. And God's like that. The God likes that. We attend Bible studies, very good. And we attend uh, church activities, very good. And we listen to the preaching, we listen to the Bible studies, we learn that. But it is not enough. It should be we have a personal devotion in our lives. Every day. If you see the life of uh, David, Daniel, Daniel chapter 6 verse 10. How to pray and how to pray. We are talking about the desire to walk closely and be intimate with our Lord God. Daniel. Daniel chapter 6 verse 10. Mary 
is what? Do pasain natin para makita natin. Para magkaroon ng Luke chapter 10 verse 13. Luke chapter 10 verse 13. Now it came to pass as we went uh, Jesus and uh, Jesus Christ with his disciples. As they went that he entered a certain parish in a certain woman named Martha, received him into her house. And she had a sister called Mary, which also sat at his feet and heard his word. But Martha was com covered about much serving, and came to him and said, Lord, dost thou not care that my sister hath left me to serve alone? Be her therefore that she helped me for the one. Just, and Jesus answered and said unto her, Martha, Martha, thou art careful and troubled about many things, and forty-two is the answer. But one thing is needful, and Mary had chosen that good part, which shall not be taken away from him. We are talking about the desire to work closely and be intimate with our world. So, hindi ko nakaabay. This is a self-explanatory. This, we have to read the Bible, or study our Bible, and pray. This is a personal devotion. And we were our pastor. That was a blessing. Amen. Amen. Yeah. So, honey, one of them. Uh, first is, if we really love the Lord with all of our heart, our soul, our mind, our strength, uh, the Lord Jesus Christ expects no less. Talagang yan ang standard ng pagmamahal na hinahanap ng Panginoon. Amen? To love Him less than what He expects here is uh, not loving Him the way He wants us to love Him. So what is number one? We decide to be what? Dedicated and faithful to our God. Kung talagang mahal natin ng Panginoon. Ito ang araw nito, this is a great day because it's holiday and uh, uh, it's very easy to to come to church sa uh, mga araw na katulad dito. And then yung pangalawa is a desire to what? Obey and sincerely serve uh, the Lord or our Lord God. And then you defer is a desire to what? Walk closely and be intimate with the Lord. All these are very, very important, and uh, all of it, especially the number three, because this is the key. This is the key. If you are, if you are serving the Lord, but you are not doing number three, mamaya mamaya, mawawala ka rin sa service. You are like a battery that is being used without being charged. Okay, so that's why these are very, very important, and. Uh, I hope you will you will take this message. It's good the way the, the outline is made. Uh, a lot of blanks and you just write the verses and magagamit natin ito for our personal uh, uh, meditation. Amen? Amen? Would you bow your head and close your eyes?